To create a keyframe in DaVinci Resolve, you press this icon next to any value in the edit tab. Now what this means is that as well as creating a keyframe, you have now enabled auto keyframing. And what this does is it automatically places keyframes at any other point in the timeline that you change that value. Now once you've created that keyframe, there's a good chance that you're going to want to go back at some point to edit it. And to do that, you can click on this diamond icon at the bottom of the clip. Now what this allows you to do is to see all your keyframes along the timeline and you can then drag these to any point moving that keyframe. If what you don't understand is the concept of keyframes and how they work, you can check out this video here in the card. If you take a look at this animation now, you'll see that it's very rigid in its movement. So to fix this, I'm going to use something called splines. First, I'm going to click on the curved line icon in the bottom right corner of the clip to open the spline view. From here, I can select each keyframe, clicking on one of the options from the toolbar to create an easing effect. To customise this easing for the smooth movement that I'm looking for, I'm going to click on the keyframe in the spline view and drag the handlebars either side of it, adjusting this effect. As you can now see, the shape of this spline represents the variable speed of the movement, with the steep parts being faster and the flatter parts being slower. However, all this change takes place within two keyframes, so the movement will still occur completely between those two points. Whilst I'm not going to go into detail into splines and how they work here, if you would appreciate a separate video on that topic, please do leave a comment down below.